we recruit for attitude. So it's extremely important that our candidates have the right attitude to join our business. We also need to ensure that they can live and breathe our values and our values are available on our website. We want people who are um, enthusiastic about engineering, enthusiastic about a training type program, um, enthusiastic about the organisation itself, so having done some research about the organisation so that they can make their decision for themselves. Plus also someone who is good at working in teams, has great communication skills or the ability to communicate with people um, and talk to people, um, but also someone who is good at problem analysis, who has great attention to detail. One of the key prerequisites for an apprentice to succeed is problem solving skills. And really a candidate is best served having a sense of problem solving skills if they wish to be an engineer. That's the core essence of the role in many respects. So what we're looking for is character, um, attitude um, and the ability to be able to communicate. Um, and that's very important and that's what we strive to get out in the interview process. We're looking for someone that can demonstrate basic um, skills uh, in terms of their, their background and experience. We're also looking for basic level of education to GCSE level and ideally looking for a candidate who can demonstrate a passion and enthusiasm for engineering. I suppose by combining a number of different exercises at the assessment centre, so for instance with the interview, we do a competency-based interview, so we're very much looking at how candidates, what they've done in their past. So competency sounds scary, all it really means is give me some evidence of how you've perhaps communicated with people in the past, how you've analysed problems, how you've worked in teams. So look, at, look back on that experience and, and give us some evidence of how you've done that. We can then make an evaluation that they have a capability in that area that we, with time, can develop further. So the interview gives us some knowledge about their communication skills, their team working capability, how they've dealt with problems in the past, how they've overcome issues. Um, within the assessment centre we also do a practical, um, what we call a manual dexterity test where we want to see how good they are with a practical application, so taking a component apart, putting it back together again. We ask candidates to attend an assessment centre and at an assessment centre we will assess their um, knowledge, um, we will assess their practical skills, we put them through written exercises. And obviously they'll go through a, a traditional interview process. So we do advise candidates to, uh, you know, if they haven't already, start practicing following some instructions of uh, whether it's a, making a, a, a kit car or, or, or a model of some description. And we really advise strongly that what they actually do is um, spend some time preparing themselves by um, you know, taking something apart, building it again. Very simple mechanics of an engineer really. The practical test is all about how well someone can follow instructions, whether they can manipulate and work with small tools and equipment. All the information is provided. It's a timed exercise. The assessment day is made up of a series of exercises and we assess candidates through a, a number of tests. The first being an interview, a competency-based interview and that is trying to explore the candidate's background, uh, their passion, their enthusiasm for the role. The range of competency-based questions that we use in the interview is specifically to find out about that individual's character, but what they have done. And it's important that the candidate realises that we're not expecting them to answer the questions that we expect them to hear. Very much in the interview situation, it's about them, their character, what they've done and how they've done it. That's what we're really interested in.